Welcome back to another video everyone. Just out here moving the strip grazing fence, trying to strain it up a bit because we got it all a bit wonky. Um, the other day when it was real hot we curved it around so they could have shade under the tree but it's not so hot now so we're going to straighten it up. Um, we're getting fairly well through the field but there is a lot of fat head and then thistles here. But anyway, I've got to move this fence so I'll be back. In. Right, move the fence, haven't we Kieran? Can I explain to the audience what we're doing? You're not very good at this YouTubing, are you? So that's what it looks like. Are you? Uh, that's what it looks like when we first moved it. So lots of grass in the bottom, sort of pick through and leave the weeds. And then this has all been topped, so all the weeds have been knocked off. And then this is sort of an area that's been grazed. They've eaten all the grass and then it's just left some thistles and fat hen and some um oh, what they call dot leaves so yeah it's fairly straight just gonna put a couple more posts in because there's quite big gaps here and then that'll be job done the cow's fence is all moved they're out behind the trailers they're happy munching away i am off raking uh some hay for a chap down in the village so i'm gonna go and get that done um it's not very much but i think it's three fields might be 10 acres maybe uh we tried to rake it yesterday but um it sort of was a bit drizzly it was strange weather yesterday um so he said to leave it but the rain never really came so much so it is plenty dry so we should be good to go so i'm gonna go over there now and uh, get it raked Okay, we are over at the fields now. As you can see, it's not too bad. It's just got that like little green tinge about it. So I'm hoping uh, the guy we're doing it for is happy with it. He, uh, like I say, it was still a little bit, uh, a few like greener spots yesterday. And yeah, there was a little bit of drizzle, but you see the sun's out now. Nicely blue sky, a little bit cloudy over there, but right above us is blue sky. Um, so it should be good to rake and um, yeah then I think he's having it uh, bailed uh, I got a chat with the quadrant bailers coming I believe a class quadrant um, so yeah anyway I'm going to go into this next field and start over there and uh, get raked that's that field this field raked I'm just going to go along the edge here and tidy up the rows a bit where um, the sort of the field angles round it just makes it uh, a little bit easier to build Going over this row again, like I say, just tying up all the ends. Um, yeah, it's been ideal weather because the sun's on it, and I always think hay does bail better with sun on it. So, hopefully, it'll go through the baler okay. Um, the chap who's coming in a minute, I gotta ring him when I do the next field, and then he's gonna come across. But I doubt we'll see him because I'll probably be done by the time he gets it. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to that next one, and I might do a little time lapse. That's the second field done, all rigged up. So I'm going to give the chap with the um, baler a ring to say he can come. I'm going to try and get this folded up. Getting on for it now, nearly finished. And Jeff's just turned up. He must have done the other two fields already. And he's, I think, the 210R and uh, the class quadrant. Away he goes, looks like he's been... Oh no, I don't reckon he has done because there's straw in the back. I guess he'll do a straw there, so he must have thought... I didn't realise I'd break these fields. Oh, the other two fields first, but it doesn't matter. Get these done, and uh, we'll be away. Yeah. Slightly older Baylor, but I think he still does a fairly good job. I've actually never seen him using it, so... Yeah, we'll see what the bells are like that comes out of it. Hopefully the chap we're doing it for will be happy.
the six string bells that he's doing, uh, I'd say six, six foot, six string, six foot long, and they're seven E deep, so they're slightly uh, shallower bells. But they're not bad sized bells, especially if you're wrapping them, it'd be quite a nice size, I would think. But yeah, it seems to go on quite nicely, it's going on fairly well. Perfect weather for baling hay. The camera skills aren't very good from trying to concentrate. I have no idea where I was pointing the camera then because I was trying to watch where my head was. So sorry if I was pointing at the floor. Once again, just going down this edge road to tidy up all these end bits for Jeff. Jeff's going along nicely, doesn't seem to be any problems. So yeah, I'm going to finish this last little row and then I'll be heading home. I think I'm probably going to put the R round baler on and then I've got like some tiny little horse paddocks of silage to bail that the chap down the road is horses haven't eaten it. So he wants that cleared up and then I think there's a field that has llamas in it next to it. He wants us to bail it up and take it away, but the llamas have been in it, so there's going to be llama muck in it. He also walks his dog in there, so we'll probably just bail it up and chuck it on the dung heap and then just, yeah, get rid of it for him. Um, because it'll rot down and it'll be some compost eventually, which is fine. So, anyway, going to get this done. Jeff's going to leave Jeff to finish and uh, I'm going to head home. Just hitch the baler up. Uh, we're going to go over behind the village first. There's a little piece over there that we um, I bailed quite early on for first cut, so second cut. I think it's struggled with the weather being so dry. I think it's just gone really seedy, so we just want to cut it off and uh, making what we can with it. So we're going to head over there first, and then we're going to come back and do those horse and pallets I was talking about. So I was just heading over to uh, the fields over here behind the village. And oh, it's really annoying that people are so oblivious to how wide some agricultural kit is. Like, this bale is wide, like it's 3.4 metres wide or something like that. So it's wider than the tractor. And I was coming up the road, and it's one of those roads where it sort of is a dual lane road, but two wide things can't pass, or even a wide thing in a car struggle to pass. And uh, I'm coming along, and this guy's waving his arms at me, getting all angry because he thinks I'm over his side of the road, which I am, but this side I'm in the hedge, so I don't know what he expects me to do. He was just oblivious. And then I come to the village, and there's cars parked in the way that you can't fit stuff through, and uh, people are stupid. But anyway, we made it over here, so now I am going to, um, to get. So yeah, these fields. This one that we're going in over there cut, got cut first, and then this probably a, a week later, but it's really had no rain on it since it got cut, and as you can see, it's really struggling. The grass that is there isn't very good, uh, it's gone to seed a lot, and there's just not much there. This one's slightly bare, but it is quite dry. Um, I haven't seen it to be fair, so it doesn't look too bad from here, so hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, it'll, it's better to be bailed up than left to dry out. And, get even worse. So I had this problem the other day, the bale gets stuck in the chamber, I think it's because I'm trying to make them too solid so I'll have to back the density off a touch or two but I should be able to manually let it out I should think so I'll just try and do that now. That's that one done, um, I'm going to have to go a different way to dad, dad's going to go out that way but it's too narrow for this big baler so we're going to go back through the village. Um, but yeah, there's only 10 bells here, but yeah, I did have the bells stuck in quite a few times, but uh, I've been told that there's plates, which I know what plates they're on about, if it happens again I'll show you. Uh, there's plates to change in the in the baler, so as the back door opens, there's two plates either side that sort of squish the bell and pull it out of the chamber. Um, and you can put thicker ones in, so I might have to put thicker ones in to make it pull um, pull the bells out there but we're going to carry on for a minute um, and try and get this a little bit done and I might have to change them if it keeps doing it. Right made it to the next little bit it's this tiny few rows here so 
so it'll take a few minutes and then behind the house there there is another field but that's the one that we're just building up and chucking away and putting on the dung heap because it's got muck in it and yeah I don't really want mm, pooey silage <laughs> right we're back home I didn't film any of that last field because it's basically in their garden I didn't really want to film in in their garden right next to their house but yeah there's only six bells there I think but like I said we're gonna have to throw them all away because they're um, old uh, well not old they've, they've got um, llama poo in them because they keep their llamas in that field um, so they just paid us to come and uh, take them away so yeah the bell is still playing up slightly the, the ad seems to think it's the bell kicker I'm just trying to reverse it and shed it the ad seems to think the kicker's coming up before it should but I think that it's the plates on the baler. Um, so, not sure, but I would say if we change the plates, because that's an easy solution, let's see if that works, and then if it doesn't, we can look at what's wrong with the kicker, but I don't think it is now. Next day now from that last clip, uh, I'm back in the trap there, because I'm going to give the baler a good blow off. Out here a second. It's just starting to spit the rain. See on the mud guard. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give this boat baler a real good clean off because um, I believe we'd probably be into the straw next. Um, so I'm gonna open up all these covers. I have to get the spanner to do that one. Um, and get the leaf blower out because that's what I use, and just get all the uh, dust and hay and stuff off of it and then we'll be ready to go for the straw like I said yesterday I'll open it up in a minute I'll show you what plates I was talking about that I think need changing um, but the spare ones oh I need to open that cover again I'll show you in a sec I'll just get it opened up right that's sort of uh, the worst of it done as you can see it's a lot less dusty obviously it's a bit around the chains where they're a bit oily but um <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, well, it's sort of stopping, it's just drizzling now. But um, I'm going to close it down, and all the dust is stuck to the outside. So I'm just going to pressure wash the outside off. Don't tend to pressure wash in here too much because I don't want to get any electronic sensors or anything wet and cause them to stop working. Um, yeah, don't get too carried away with a pressure washer inside. But obviously, all these panels you can see it's all stuck up there. Can all be pressure washed, and that's no problem. Um, and this side as well. This is where most of the components are, most of the changing things. So uh, yeah, don't get in there too much of the pressure washer. At the end of the season, sometimes they give it a good pressure wash. But yeah, that'll do for a minute. So yeah, get all these sides closed down, and uh, yeah, just give them a quick pressure wash off to get the rest of the dust and dirt off of them and then I'll go back in the shed and grease the wrapper the uh, front is all on auto grease so there's the auto greaser there so this just pumps grease in spins around and pumps grease in over time but the wrapper you have to grease manually so I'll grease all the bits on the wrapper uh, yeah and then it'll be pretty much ready to go these are the plates I'm on about these two here um, but I'll have a look at that when I'm in the shed Right, that's all washed off, looking nice and shiny, or shine, well, yeah, that's quite shiny. Gave the tractor kick wash off. It's currently raining. It was drizzling fairly heavily. Hopefully it sort of stays about for a bit because we really do need the rain. Um, but whether it will come to much, I'm not sure. Like I said, we've had the last lot of rain that we had was in my previous video which was probably coming up three four weeks ago but that was like just a real heavy shower and then it disappeared and then you wouldn't even know we had rain so anyway, i'm going to get this opened up and we'll have a look at these plates that i think need changing um so it's quite simple to open this one up it's just the controls here i have this little spanner and a small block in here it's a bit awkward to try and show you you just put the spanner on the spool block and then open and now we 
I'll show you what I mean by plates that need changing. So here's the one I've taken it off, which you can see is quite thin, compared with that one which is thicker. So yeah, it goes on here, just two bolts there and there. And then also there are flat plates, so I could bolt that thickness, plus that one fits there, so it's that thick, uh, which um, I'll probably yeah, just put the thickest ones in and see how it goes. Right, that's those plates changed, so there's a lot thicker plate on there now, that one and that one. There's the old ones. So yeah, essentially the bell is getting stuck in here. So by having the plates here, when this opens, it squeezes tighter and pulls the bell out to where I'm standing. There's the first kicker that flicks up. And here's the second kicker that flicks up and flicks it onto the wrapping table. So hopefully that'll work. But anyway, don't worry that I'm still in here because I've locked the there's a tap on the front so this won't fall down. Track is off as well and no one's about. And also the keys in my pocket. So that nobody can swash it on me. So anyway, that is hopefully gonna work. We'll see when we get onto some straw, but it's rained a little bit, so it might put us off for a few days. It depends. I don't know when this week's gonna be ready that we've got a bell. But we'll see. Anyway, that's probably gonna be it for probably sweaty and covered in dirt. Yeah, because I've blown everything off. But I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to try and do videos more often now, um, but we'll see. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.